All righty. So I, here is, so if I fold it back up real quick, you can see that was where that apex was. Okay, so I'm gonna label that apex again. Do you remember we used white? So I'm gonna label that right here. That is the apex. I could have labeled it on this side, okay, either side. Um, and then, which means this space. So this is the muscle, right? So first of all, look how thick the muscle is around the left ventricle. And then look how thick it is at the right ventricle. It's a lot thinner, right? Okay, so the left ventricle, much thicker in muscle. Why? It has to pump blood to the whole body, okay? So left uh, ventricle is gonna be in here. Now these little cords right here, these are the chordae tendinae, okay? Um, and they're the things that control the valves of the heart. So I'm gonna stick an orange label on these, those little stringy looking things, those chordae tendinae. They're controlling the valves, which is gonna control and the flow of blood to prevent backflow, okay? And then let's see. Okay, right here, this space in between the walls of the left, um, these are the walls of the left ventricle. So this is actually the left ventricle in here. And we used black to label that. So let's label that black. So that's gonna be in that space. Remember, just make sure not to label it on that same spot as the chordae tendinae. And then this little spot in here is going to be the right ventricle. So we had light blue for that one. So we're going to go back to light blue and get that just inside of there. Okay, so we're labeling that the right ventricle. Okay, now remember these chordae tendinae control the valves. So coming out of the left ventricle is where you're going to see the path leading to the aorta up here. Okay, coming out of the left ventricle into that aorta. So this up here, that is the aorta. So that is purple. Okay, that path coming out of the left ventricle into this big vessel up here. Okay. What else can we see? This right here, that is the right atrium. Okay, we didn't cut too much into that and that's okay. All right, this little one, which we did cut, you could see how much thinner the muscle is on that. That is the left atrium, and that was red. So we're going to label that one. And that's the way we start on the left side, so we know that we cut through at least one of the atria. So left atrium, this representing the left ventricle, the chordae tendinae, the apex. Then we have the right ventricle, the right atrium, the aorta, okay? And... In between the two sides of the heart, between the left and the right side, is going to be the septum, okay? And we're going to use a dark blue to label it. So I just want to make sure you understand that that septum is going to be the divider between the right side and the left side of the heart, okay? Now, remember, I could have labeled these things on this side easily. Here is the left ventricle, right, the space here. That's the wall of the left ventricle, left atrium up here. Here we have uh, the septum in between and then the walls of the right ventricle. So the right ventricle in here. Um, up here would be where the right atrium is, okay? Uh, so we can see all of these wonderful things on both sides, the apex right here, okay? So whichever way whichever side you choose to label, I chose to label the one where I could see the aorta more clearly, okay? And then you are um, going to take another picture in a moment. So you can see here is one of those valves. Here you can see another valve right here, okay? So the chordae tendinae are those stringy things, but what I want you to do is label one of those flaps that is a valve. Okay, and we are going to use uh, pink. Okay, I know we used pink before, but that's okay. I'm gonna label just one of these little flaps, okay? To make it clear that I understand that that's the valve. That is what blocks the blood from backflowing, if it's working correctly, right? So 
I'm just trying to pin it over a little bit so that it's clear what I have it attached to. And this pin is just being difficult. That's okay. All right, so I want to make sure it's on that valve, okay? So when I take the picture, I may have to hold it like this, okay, in order for that pin to be clear because the rest of the pins I can see. And then you are going to take another picture, okay? And then we are going to remove the pins, okay? And that is the view showing the inside of the heart. And I'm gonna talk about the last thing that we're going to do.